So something unique that's, this has only been around the last five or six years or so is, is the docking drawer. It's kind of cool. We do a lot of them in bathrooms uh, for keeping your hair dryers and toothbrushes and stuff like that plugged in. Um, but they work great in the kitchen for charging centers or in a, this looks like it's in a actually in a desk. Um, keeping phones charged or if you use an iPad in the kitchen all the time but want to keep it put away and charging. Um, the nice thing about these docking drawers, it's a, it's a UL listed device. So it's an underwriter laboratory listed device. So it's code, it's code compliant. Um, it's the only, it's really the only code compliant way to put a plug in a drawer. I've seen contractors in the past put a plug in the drawer, like the electrician can physically do that for you. Um, but it's not code compliant because that cord or that wire, every time you open and close the drawer is going to bend and eventually break, cause an arc, cause a fire hazard. Um, so this is hundred percent code compliant because it's got a little mechanism behind it that guides the cord. It also has, um, a thermostat in it. So if any of these devices overheats, or like say in the case of a bathroom, you put your flat iron away and it accidentally gets left on, this will sense any excess temperature and it cuts power to it. So it's a nice safe way to put these sort of things in the, in your kitchen or bathroom. Paul, we have a question in the um, question and answer. Um, that Someone said they have a pullout that's in, not installed correctly and is that something we can fix or can we recommend someone to fix it? I imagine, I imagine it's fixable. Um, I might suggest to give us a call or shoot us a picture of what's wrong with it. Uh, yeah. Or we could do a video chat and we'll probably figure it out. Uh, I, don't, I don't see why that would be too challenging uh, to fix. All right. Uh, another cool one, pop-up mixer. Um, what, what are your thoughts on the pop-up mixer, Erica? Uh, I think that they are essential, especially for those clients that are baking or cooking almost every day and using that particular appliance. Uh, otherwise, um, most people will like to keep that on the counter. I think when we were talking before, Brianna said it's kind of almost like a, a showpiece because mm -hmm. they come in colors and everything now. Um, so depending on that particular client, I will give them that cabinet. Otherwise, I'll offer them something that is a little bit more storage friendly because the way that um, cabinet is designed, it can only house that one piece of hardware. So Right. It's designed for that or something like it. So yeah. You're giving up an 18-inch cabinet just to store one thing. It's basically what you're yeah. doing. So you need to have the room to be able to do that. Yeah, it does help um, clients that uh, are a little bit older and it helps them lift it better and they right. can just sit on it and it'll retract for them. So that's definitely if a, you know, if a client still wants to make, you know, that special dessert for Thanksgiving, she'll want to still always use her, her thing and then store it away. So it'll yeah. be essential for her. Yeah, nice. I actually, I have at home a mixer, but it's not a KitchenAid, it's a cheapo <laughs> it's called Hamilton Beach or something like that. Yeah. And I use it like once a year, you know, once a year it comes out. So I'm going to make cookies or something. But since we've been on this stay at home order, I've been using it a lot more and man, mm -hmm. I hate it. And I'm like, I gotta get myself one of those kitchen. You should get it or you should get a hand mixer because KitchenAid makes a hand mixer and it works just as good. A hand mixer. Like you just physically mix by hand. No, no, it's, it's still got the like, automatic thing but oh, it, the plug you just in. hold it yeah it's a hand well, I had one of those years ago yeah that's not yeah. a bad thing. yeah because i still i will go back to only baking once a year pretty soon here but <laughs> um, but yeah these are real pretty i feel like the kitchenaid mixer as a status symbol you know yeah. or a decorative item on the countertop might be going away i mean you know it's been around for a long time mm -hmm. be like this crazy expensive appliance that you only spent money on if you were a real hardcore baker, but yeah. now they kind of come down in price. They're yeah. a lot more consumer friendly. I feel like you're going to see more and more of these things be stored away uh, and not take up that counter. Yeah, space. they're just so heavy to move. So it's yeah. sort of like you want to put it where you are going to use it or have something like this. Yeah, put them on a pop up or in a just on a rollout drawer could work too. Yeah, anything that gets them out of the cabinet so it's you can lift them safely without having to tweak your back. Yeah. Um, Sharon 
mentioned, um, she asked if you could put pullouts in existing cabinets. Uh, you can, yeah. Aftermarket pullouts. Um, Reva Shelf is a real popular company that makes those. They make the wire framed ones. You know, I have a preference for these sort of wooden pullouts. They're easier to clean, a little more, they usually have better hardware and stuff. Um, but Reva Shelfs is sold at like Lowe's, Home Depot. You can buy them, put them in, or a handyman can put them in for you. Uh, if you're working with us or I'm sure Erica, there are companies like Hardware Resources and others that make uh, wooden rollouts and pullouts and stuff too. All right. Extension tables. So this was the first extension table we ever did. You can see this cabinet doesn't have a countertop yet. So this is in, pro this is in progress photo actually. Um, but they're kind of cool. It folds up into this drawer and see there's the drawer front right there and it would just pop up uh, and then it pulls out and you've got a little extra counter space. Uh, so maybe you don't want to lose an entire drawer's worth of storage for that. But if you're lacking counter space or need a little seating area uh, or overflow area, you know, they're pretty cool. And if I, they're not that expensive. If I remember right, they're not that expensive. It's a few hundred dollars. You remember, Brandon? I think so. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, Erica. What that extra amount of like stone countertop would be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, Erica, you ever done one of these or anything like it? I know when I, we, we we were meeting earlier, that was the first time I've seen one. They're pretty cool looking, but like you said, I can see it where like um, if if you're trying to add like a little extra seating or definitely that extra countertop space, that looked like a small kitchen. So that yeah. seemed like that was the the perfect fit for it. Yeah, and that's that's what this couple wanted was he wanted to be able to sit in the kitchen at a little table. And they, didn't have, they didn't have a room for it, and this was a this provided a little table that he could put a chair right here, and kind of sit and hang out. The TV, you kind of see, this is the living room, so that's the TV. Okay. So, so he kind of wanted to be able to sit there, watch TV, prep, talk to his wife, whatever, uh, and that kind of allowed him to do that. We couldn't do a typical countertop overhang in this kitchen. There was there was just no way to do it. They have a sunken living room. Oh, okay. So there was no way to. In the living room, it starts basically right here. So it was a good solution for this particular kitchen. They do have a dining room table right here, mm -hmm. but that was too far for him. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't that far away. He wanted to be in the kitchen. So that, so that was what, uh, that was the solution. We have a question from Nick Boca. Where is the extension table from? Was this, it from one, this one is from Richelieu, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we got this one from Richelieu. Uh, I think there's a few companies that make some. Richelieu mm -hmm. makes, Richelieu must have seven or eight different kinds. Yeah, they've got so many options for everything. Yeah, they do. Richelieu is a ton of the uh, so not exactly an organizer, but I mean, kind of an organizer. 